All right, welcome to my How Is It Reactive series. So in this episode, I will be covering a secret reactive item. So you can see right here that there's a Dread Fate as well as a Dread Omen. Now Dread Fate comes with her own pickaxes that are actually kind of interactive with the backplane. You can see here that the pickaxes are in the backplane. So if you own them both, which you will if you buy this because it's a big bundle, Every time you unsheath or pull out these pickaxes, they come straight out of the back bling. That's pretty cool, but that's not reactive. That's just a feature. And then Dread Omen here comes with the cape as well as the skin itself. If you want his pickaxe, it's right here called the Dread Oracle Axe. Now, of course, you could use this with the female as well. But this is the secret reactive item. You can see that it doesn't say anything about being reactive, nor does it say it's even animated. But you can see the crisp purple crackles towards the top center of this pickaxe. So it's kind of animated, but it's super reactive as I'll show you in just a second. So 1200 V-Bucks for this if you want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip Dread Omen himself because like I said, the girl kind of is associated with those other pickaxes. And for a back bling, I'm gonna use his Dread Shroud. And here's the pickaxe in question. For a glider, I'm gonna use the Storm Eye, which is part of the Raging Storm set. Same thing for this. This is part of that set as well, it's Lightning Strike. And this as well, this is the Turbulent Wrap. So this should make for a great combo, especially involving this black and purple color. But this is what we're interested in, so let's take a peek. Check out the Storm Eye here. I know this is not associated with this set, but I really, really like this. The purple and black in this game, just phenomenal. Look at this Contrail. It spews out this purple laser that's way, way awesome. Big fan of this set. All right, so here we go. You can see what the pickaxe looks like. So in the dark, his cape also glows, by the way. Let me spin him around, too. You can see that his eyes glow, as well as that little dot right there on his chest. All right, so we're looking at the pickaxe, though. You can see that it does sparkle with that lightning-like effect, so that's animated right there. Here's the contrail. It's almost got a blue and a purple contrail. Isn't that weird? I don't know where that blue comes from. Super weird. Let's see if it has a striking contrail. Um, not really. Okay, so you can see, if you focus on the top two parts of the blade, that purple effect kind of ricochets back and forth. Left, right, left, right, left, right. It keeps shifting back and forth. And likewise, there's like a jewel in the middle of the scepter part up there. Now, for whatever reason, and there's other pickaxes like this that I need to cover yet, but the more you use this, the more reactive it becomes. It's so weird. Okay, so just focus on what it looks like right here, right now. Look at the purple effect. That's what we're gonna focus on. All right, we can see it much better in this house. Okay, so here's all you have to do. Basically, anytime you put this away and pull it back out, it becomes more reactive. So let me just pick up this weapon right here. Now watch. We're gonna focus on the glow again, all right? We're focusing on the purple glow. By the way, here's the wrap. How awesome is that? I can't remember if it's reactive, let's see. No, just animated. Okay, so we put our pickaxe away clearly, and we're gonna pull it back out. Okay, now I'm gonna do this a few times. I'm gonna leave my controller right here, and I'll just do it a bunch of times, and then we'll stop real quick. You can see not very noticeable yet, but it's getting brighter. Let me do it a few more times here. So every time you put it away and pull it back out, it gets a little more bright. You can see how it's intensifying around the entire pickaxe. A few more times. I don't know why it does this, but this is definitely a reactive feature. All right, now watch it now. Look at how bright it's becoming. So it does cut itself off eventually, but it takes a good amount of swippy swapping like this to get it to that full effect. But once you maximize it, let's see what it looks like now. Look at this. Once you maximize it, it actually becomes a little obstructive. That's how bright it gets. Look at this. I'll have to do a before and after comparison because it just gets so bright, like a big ball of purple on your pickaxe. Look at how bright it's becoming. This is a weird angle. When I shift angles, I don't want to do it yet, but you'll see that it's just a huge ball. So it's already at that obnoxious state. Look at this. When I swap back and forth, it's just a huge pink purple glow. Super, super annoying. You can see even when I'm swapping here near my head, look at how bright that is as I'm swapping. 
So I'd say this right here is the maximum effect. So let me show you what it started with. This is how it looked at the very beginning before we did anything. And this is how it looks right now. Look at that difference. This is just crazy of how much this glows now. Now look at this perspective. It's like a giant ball, like I said. It's actually quite blurry for some reason, but it doesn't appear to change the contrail that much. You still have that blue, pink, purple effect. It's just now your entire top of your pickaxe is just lit up. I mean, someone could see this from a mile away. So much more evident in the dark here. But look, it's almost obstructive. And it glows on the wall. Look, it's lighting up on the wall. If you get a really dark environment, like at nighttime, you'll see it for sure. But you can see it literally lights up the wall. That's how bright it is. See that reflection right there? Light up the toilet if you want. Look at that. Super, super bright. Look at it. Lighting up the whole wall right there. So I did this in a normal match, in a live solo match. And like I said, it was just hurting my eyes because I couldn't focus on anything else except for that giant ball on my pickaxe. But still, that's a nice reactive feature. And how many times do you put away your pickaxe and pull it out during a match? Probably a million. So eventually you will reach this state, provided you're decent at the game, where it's the maximum effect that you can get. It didn't take me but maybe three minutes of playing a normal solo match to achieve this effect. Look at that. It's just huge. And I have no idea how to turn it back to normal. I guess you have to die because there's no way that I can find to revert it. Look at that. The whole tip of the pickaxe is just on fire with that purple pink glow. Absolutely crazy. And it almost looks more pink now because look at his cloak, that's purple. And the glow from the pickaxe is now a pink color. Still, for 1200 V-Bucks, I think this is a great, great pickaxe for your collection. The fact that it does this, that's awesome. Look at that. It's a giant blurry pink meteor effect on my pickaxe. I don't know why it's blurry like that though. That's how it was in game too. So there you go, that's all there is to it. I wanna know, is this a glitch or is this an intended reactive effect? Let me know in the comments what you think. The fact that it's blurry and it gets that bright makes me think it's a glitch. And also because they don't even have the reactive tag on the pickaxe, so who knows? Maybe eventually they will add the reactive tag, but right now it's just a weird reactive feature for this particular pickaxe. Still though, it's a nice pickaxe, it's got a nice contrail, a nice swinging noise, and with this reactive feature as well, I'd say it's pretty awesome. And not to mention, it is also animated with that lightning-like effect. So for 1200 V-Bucks, I'd say this is a nice addition to anyone's collection. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.